it like a bit too shocking at threatening for the crazy thing. I'm happy again. Life is a blessing. If I think of you, ain't a thing that I've been missing. I'm here on my own to sing a song. Now that you're gone, I'm happy. Even the toilets are empty. Look at this. vlog so we actually have just arrived back from Toronto if you haven't seen our Canada diaries we just done a full travel trip to Canada it was so so fun I am literally so so jet lagged I've been asleep for like five hours but we haven't got our coach till tomorrow and we are currently in London Heathrow I thought why not go into London and do some more cute luxury shopping together or window shopping should I say at Fortnum and Mason so this was actually actually a suggestion of one of you guys. So I actually filmed a uh, London Diaries episode one right here where I went and did like a little tour around Harrods. We looked around Belgravia and then I had one of you guys reach out to me on Instagram and say, have you ever been to Fortnum and Mason? And I was like, no, I haven't. And I also haven't ever been to Selfridges either, but we'll save that for maybe another trip. Let me know if you enjoy these type of trips. But today I thought, you know what? Why don't we go to Fortnum and Mason, go grab something to eat together. Dean is actually so tired. He can't cry himself out of bed. I am gonna go solo with you guys. So it's just a date between me and you. Also, this is the result of travel day. So tired, we just dumped all our stuff. I got my PJs out and I like conked into bed. Right, let's go into London, shall we? charge my phone because I've just realized that it hasn't been charging in the hotel and it's only got 50 percent there's this app you can download sorry it's going to be windy but first of all I'm like a five minute walk from Buckingham Palace and I've actually never seen it in person so let's go to Buckingham Palace together shall we I am watching the clouds up in the sky all but laughing out loud I'm telling you why I am living the life just me myself and I I think I'm around the side here, but wow, very impressive. You up and left me sadness, overwhelming. Me, I am out and about, painting the town red. I'm coming around. There ain't so no they have what's known it. as the cold stream guards here that normally wear the red uniforms and hats and they are active soldiers and my cousin actually used to be a cold stream guard so oh, they're actually in grey today so let's have a look shall we there you go cold stream guard on duty what my cousin used to do how cool no longer blue so glad we are through just me myself and i Okay, now I'm done visiting the king for the evening. Let's head to Fortnum and Mason, shall we?
apartment and Mason now. Wow, look at this. Oh, it smells incredible down here. It's like this old Victorian shopping arcade. And I can see the flag. Right, let's go inside and have a little look together, shall we? Wow, look at the outside. Look at these lamps. So cool. So pretty. It's all done for Easter. Look at these pretty centerpiece flowers. Oh wow. Let's have a look around. I think we'll have to do a little taste test back in the hotel room. And I'll take some chocolates for Dean. Look at this. $17.95. Holy smokes. Wow. This big Easter display. Look at this Easter egg. Oh, wow. Look at all this marzipan. Oh, my goodness. That is so decadent, isn't it? And look at these glazed fruits. Holy smokes. Wow, that kiwi actually looks amazing. Look at the little mushrooms. There's actually afternoon tea you can get here as well in the Diamond Jubilee Tea Station. Oh, Red or Flower Ice Biscuits. This is what they look like on the inside. How cute are they? There's a whole Mother's Day section here. That's so good. It's so pretty everywhere. I love these little boxes. I think I'm going to buy something from here. You can also get Mother's Joy Loose Tea. Wow, look at this massive centerpiece in the centre. <gasps> so pretty. I feel like this is still for Valentine. Look at this stunning like silver staircase as well. We'll take a look downstairs in a little bit. Oh, look at these, £53 for a Fortnum and there's some tea strainer here. So you can make a proper British cup of tea. Look at this one. Look at this whole tea station. You can literally get all different types of tea here. £10 for some black tea with figs. Black tea with strawberry. The Royal Blend. This seems popular. This is £250 for some tea. You can even get a little special tea cup to commemorate. Oh, you can create your own tea. This is kind of like the tea and biscuit section. Should we go downstairs and have a look at the food and wine? Alright, do you think anyone actually like full on shops here? Like multi multi billion gajillionaires? Look how pretty this is. Love it. But it's an actual food cart, like wine and food. Imagine if someone did like a weekly shopping, I'd dread to think what the price would be. Look at this. White sourdough. £7.50 for a loaf of bread. Does look very good though. How much are the salads? I haven't ate today. Oh, £9.50. Do you know what? I thought it was going to be worse than that. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? Beef bibimbap. We also have a trout one. I'm 
need to go into this the parlor and get some food. We do like dinner and tea. Should we go inside? ended up going for the parlor tea and it was 22 95 and I bought Welsh Rabbit and then I also get a duo scones even though I just bought a scone for Dean but we'll get to try it and then I get a pot of Fortnum's tea so I thought we might as well try the tea and the scones seeing as though they're quite well known for it. Let's just come over and put knives and forks under a little blanket. I also love the tables in here how cool is this? I'd have this for catnip. <laughs> Nothing she would not do for me She never plays it coy My bottle of joy She's the one I love Let's go to PG Tips I love a PG Tip Let me know in the comments What your favourite cup of tea is I love PG Tips Although to be fair It's normally a toss up between PG Tips Twinings Yorkshire tea and Tetley's I like Tetley's too but PG Tips I don't know what it is about PG Tips But just can't beat it oh, It feels nice to have a proper cup of tea I have to be in Canada for like two and a half weeks It's like a mini afternoon tea so I might not be doing the fancy one But I've got my own little version here So we've got a cheese scone and a plain scone on top Which I've just bought And are they warm? Yeah they're warm Then we've got some butter Look at that butter in the bowl It's funny And then we've got Welsh rabbit here Jam, then cream. Does anyone else agree? Ooh, look at those banana splits that have been toasted and caramelized on the outside. That just come out. Always jam, then cream first. Because it makes all sense to put all the jam on top of cream, am I right? It's a great time to come because look how dead it is. Anyway, we'll finish our afternoon tea. Now let's have another warm, shall we? It smells really good in here. Like it's got a subtle smell, it's like not overpowering, but. So, oh wow, look at this Alice in Wonderland teapot set. It's like the classic version. How cute is that? Like, you know, the original one. Oh, I love it. So cute. Oh, in here it's got all silverware for tea and also a silver cake slicer here. How beautiful is that? That'd make a really special keepsake. I have no idea how much it is. I haven't even got prices on. Whoa. Oh my gosh, a thousand pound for this leather drinks case. 72 pound for a pack of silver cake forks here. Fancy. Oh, teapot card holders, 135 pound for the set. Oh my gosh. This is a very special like tea set, don't you think? Look at this. The toast rack alone is 120 pound. <gasps> Look how nice it is though, it even feels nice to touch. It's very heavy, like really heavy. It doesn't have a price on again. £1,000 for this one. These look like pumpkins. Oh, it's melon. £450. Whoa, so pretty. I feel like I'm in Bridgerton. Look at all the shiny stuff everywhere. Nice candelabra. Circa 1920. Oh, it's vintage. My Nana used to collect teapots and tea sets. And she has like a whole collection before she passed away. I wonder if granddad still got it. Oh, it smells good in this room. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And yeah, she used to collect them. So I really like tea sets now. I think there's just something so nice about getting a proper tea and saucer set out. I think it just feels so special. Look at all these sets. In here, we've got a bunch of different tablewares. I really love like this cabin style one. But then look at this bold one. This kind of gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes. How pretty is this one? Mackenzie Charles, this one. I like this one. Look how cottagey it looks. Oh, it's the same as like the cabbagey leaf one. Look how pretty this plate is. How much is it? £29. So cute and pretty. I 
I am having way too much fun. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so cool to see. can't help but always look at the stationery. You don't know, I'm an illustrator and I own like a little stationery business and I've started printing my greeting cards in house myself so this gives me a lot of inspo. The prices are really reasonable as well, £4.50. That's pretty reasonable for like a nice quality card I think. Travel journal. Wow, look at these paper crafts. More Alice in Wonderland ones. Cute bookmark, £12. Right, should we take a look upstairs? I'm having way too much fun. I don't know, like a fancy theme park to me or something. It's so fun. Mm, oh my gosh, this is all soaps. <gasps> it smells incredible. Wow, it smells insane in here. Yeah. Let's see how much the soaps are. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, six pound. <gasps> Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get some of these. It smells so good. What mm. kinds do I want? I want them all. Yeah, I don't like that one. This one's called the Platinum Soap. It smells like... It smells like cigarettes. I don't like that one. Mm. This one smells amazing. I'll do a little haul at the end of the things that I've got, but these smell incredible. diamond cut ring oh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's huge and it's like pastel pink oh, it'll only set you back £1,590 okay we're gonna get the lift up to floor 3 the book one it's a little screen thing here it's cute also over here you can create your own Fortman and Mason camper oh my gosh what's in there it's like a lounge oh we've got a piano player should we go inside let's go inside look I'm feeling very self-indulgent today. I'm like on a little date there with you guys. I hope you're having fun with me. What should we get? It's just before I go out and even the toilets are fancy, look at this. I don't know if we had a proper look at the chocolate counter last time but it's very cool in here. I 
Well, oh, that was a super fun time. Oh, quickly across the road. Oh, right, let's go home. Oh, honestly, I underestimated how tired I was gonna be in London. I got onto the tube and it took like an hour to get back to Heathrow where we were staying, we were staying in Terminal 5. I literally got in and conked out to sleep. Also, excuse the way I look, I just cannot be bothered to get ready today. I am having a rot day, okay? But I thought I'd try to get a few things that I got. Got a little mini scone. Got this almond and rum cake. Ooh, look at this. It actually feels a bit stale. What a shame. But we will try this. Came on this little cute little board, actually, that you could pick. How cute is that? I'm going to put that underneath because it looks pretty. And then I also got this cute little bag of chocolates. Look at this. And I got these two soaps, which literally smell incredible. This one's my favourite. This is Magnolia and Pear Luxury Sheer Butter Soap by, oh, Royal Botanical Gardens, Kew Gardens. I've never been to Kew Gardens. Let me know in the comments if we should go together. Maybe on another London Diaries, we could go together, but mm, that is my favorite smell. That smells incredible. This was eight pound. And then I also trekked myself to this one, which is six pound. And I don't know where this one is made by, but if you like really nice soaps, but don't want to pay this amount of money, they have a lot of really good soaps like this in TK Maxx. Mm. It smells posh. <laughs> like it literally smells posh. It smells so, so nice. I thought they would be nice, like hand soaps, like for the bathrooms and the guest bathrooms. So that was my little haul, and I thought we would try this little almond and rum cake together. Like I say, it has been in my bag for like a day. It does feel a little stale, but hopefully it's still tasty. Look at that inside. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's actually really tasty. Do you know what it kind of tastes like? Do you know like the classic cake and custard you used to get at school? The really cheap sponge cake with like a layer of icing. It tastes like that, but posher. Mmm. <laughs> that's actually really nice. That'd be lovely with a cup of tea. Look how cute this is packaged in the little Fortman and Mason bag. Oh, so cute. I'm going to keep this bag. What should I put in it? I don't know what to do with it. It's just really, really pretty though. I just really like it. Okay, let's try one of these chocolates. All right, moment of truth. Oh no, what flavor are these? Oh, it's the one that's grey tea infused. Oh yeah, mm, you can really taste the tea inside. Anyway, like I said, I am going to Orlando in a week and a half and I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna be working pretty much every day in the office until that point. But there is a few things that I want to buy. And because I'm going to Victoria, my friend, I feel like I want to treat myself to like a nice cozy new set of maybe Disney dramas. But I do want to do a little shopping spree and pack with me video. I never really do anything like a pack with me or I don't really do any of those type of videos, but I've been getting a few people really enjoy the Cozy Day Diaries. I thought they were boring, personally. I thought no one would want to see me like packing to go away on a trip. And then also bring you along before we start the Disney Diaries. I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be such a stark contrast from Canada because I've gone from freezing cold to like nice, warm, hot weather. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like if you did and comment below and subscribe if you wanna stick around for some more cozy, fun and wholesome adventures with me. I'll see you in the next one when we will be prepping to go to Orlando. But first, I need to sleep and also I need to do a lot of work, so I'll be in the office. And if you're curious about what I get up to at work, you can actually go and watch them on my business YouTube channel, Catnip. So I'll see you in the next one. All right, then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.